Football matches are often accompanied by dramatic moments that can swing the balance of the game in favour of one team or the other. One such moment that can turn a game around is a rousing speech by the coach or captain that inspires their players to give their best performance. From Mourinho's half-time fiery speech against City and Messi's words before the Copa America final to Zidane's pep talk, here are 10 epic speeches that changed a football match. Number 1. Lionel Messi's moving speech before the final of the Copa America. There was a time where Messi didn't win any major international trophy, but he has clearly changed that, first by winning the Copa America in 2021 and then that famous night in Qatar. But did you know that before the Copa America final, Messi gave a speech that literally motivated the entire squad? This tournament had to be played in Argentina and God brought it here. God brought it here to lift it at the Maracana, boys for it to be more beautiful for all of us. We are taking this home. Come on, guys. Well, it clearly did the trick as his team managed to scrape the win against an extremely strong Brazil side. A goal from Angel Di Maria confirmed the Argentine victory. Number 2. Kylian Mbappe's rousing half-time team talk inspired France to World Cup final comeback. The first half of the World Cup final was a one-sided one, with Argentina leading 2-0. At half-time, a camera picked up Mbappe giving an off-the-cuff speech to try to inspire one last huge effort from his teammates. It's a World Cup final. They scored two goals and we are two down. Either we let them play or put intensity. We can bounce back, guys. It's something like this only every four years. And, well, he stood by his words. What a comeback. Kylian Mbappe proved his worth by scoring a World Cup final hat-trick. Sadly, he was on the losing end. Number 3. Arteta and the club photographer Last season, the Gunners had lost their opening three matches before picking up successive wins over Norwich and Burnley. But it was the test with Spurs that would either appease the pressure or heap it on further for Arsenal's manager. And it was time for a pre-match pep talk. And everyone expected Arteta to pump the guys. But Arteta played it uniquely and brought the club photographer of 30 years and lifelong fan Stuart McFarlane. McFarlane was blunt and he told the players that they were the best he had ever seen. He even told them to play for the badge and play for the fans who came to the Emirates to watch them. His words clearly had an impact as Arsenal raced out of the traps at the Emirates Stadium as goals from Emil Smith-Rowe, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Bakayo Saka helped them seal the match. Number 4. Zinedine Zidane's Halftime Team Talk During the Champions League Final you all know that Zizou was a world-class player, and he hasn't disappointed us with his managerial skills either. In the Champions League final against Juventus, things were very close at half-time. Mario Mandzukic's wonder goal cancelled out Cristiano Ronaldo's opener in the 20th minute, with things looking poised going into the second period. It was time for the magic of words. We need to be aggressive in defence, guys. This is a Champions League final. Isco, you need to be tighter on the left. Marcelo and Danny need to go higher up. We will suffer. It's a final. Keep calm. We will get another goal. Well, the lads did not disappoint and thus managed to clinch their 12th title. Number 5. Jose Mourinho's half-time speech fired up the Spurs squad against Man City. There's only one bully in the game, and that bully is Mourinho. In a game against Spurs, Mourinho showed who's the boss. He was furious at his players for being too nice during the game. Man City is trying to put pressure on you to get a penalty. This is the difference between a good team and a bullshit team. You're trying to be good, but the reality is that the history of football is that the teams of good guys never win. So be a gangster. Mourinho further told them that Carl Walker has a yellow card, Zinchenko has a yellow card, and Sterling has a yellow card, so they need to exploit this. And guess what? This proved to be effective. Zinchenko got a second yellow card and Spurs went on to win the game 2-0, the special one at his very best. Number 6. Guardiola makes an epic speech at half-time of City's Aston Villa comeback. 
City went into the last match of last season knowing that a win would confirm their status as Premier League champions. Their closest rivals, Liverpool, had to win and hope City dropped points. Villa went ahead in the 39th minute thanks to a goal by Matty Cash. The goal stunned the Etihad Stadium into utter silence. As the half-time whistle sounded, City found themselves 1-0 down. In the dressing room, Guardiola gave the perfect speech to galvanise his players. We're going for it, OK, guys? It's impossible to think about the consequences if we don't win. It's normal. We need a goal, then we will have momentum, and then we will have the trophy. It's safe to say that when you have Guardiola, you can achieve anything from impossible scenarios. And City did that exactly. Number 7. Cristiano Ronaldo's Real Madrid speech from the 2016 Champions League final. It wasn't just Zidane who only motivated his players in the Champions League final. CR7 has also done that. Cristiano Ronaldo looked to inspire his Real Madrid teammates at half-time in the dressing room in the San Siro in the Champions League final 2016 against Atletico Madrid. Listen, I want to say something. We're 45 minutes from making history. Tiredness is psychological sometimes. We need to play another 45 flat out. We can because we're fine. It's mental. We're 45 from making history. We defend as we've defended in the first half. Let's go. And the Galacticos did make history on the night. Number 8. Paul Pogba gave an incredible speech before the World Cup final. Well, Mbappe's pep talk didn't let him get that trophy, but Paul's crucial words helped them fetch that golden gem. Just before France took to the pitch of the Luzhniki Stadium for the World Cup final in 2018, Paul Pogba addressed his teammates with an emotional speech. The midfielder spoke passionately before the biggest match of the players' lives and it seemed to have the desired effect as they went on to win the match against Croatia by a 4-2 scoreline. His remarks were simple. It was for the French nation, the French people and all of the players. He even told them to remain composed and give their 100% and his pack clearly paid heed to his advice. Number 9. Hervé Renard's stirring halftime speech caused Saudi Arabia's revival against Argentina. Behind every impossible thing, there's a mentor who pushes you beyond your limits. And the case of Saudi Arabia is no different. Saudi Arabia coach Hervé Renard gave one of the most rousing halftime talks ever witnessed on camera at the World Cup. After his team went into the break 1-0 down against Argentina thanks to a Lionel Messi penalty, Renard conjured all his might to give the motivational message they so needed after their lacklustre first half. Messi in the middle of the pitch, you stay in front of the defence. Take your phone, you can take your picture with Messi. You are in front of the defence and you are not marking him. You have to follow. The manager was furious at a defender, but ultimately he was right and gladly Saudi Arabia broke all records by beating Argentina 2-1. Number 10. Billy McCulloch, long-serving Chelsea Masseur. Well, Mourinho and funny press conferences. Still a better love story than most of Hollywood's romantic movies. Mourinho revealed that Chelsea was able to defeat City 1-0 in a crucial title race match in 2014 thanks to a pet talk by Billy McCulloch, a long-serving masseur and an immensely popular figure around Stamford Bridge. He was screaming so much in his Scottish I didn't understand, but the players were clapping. OK, let's go. OK, OK, that's more than epic oratory skills. Now it's your turn to let me know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.